Hi, boys and girls. How are you doing? I hope you're doing great today. Because in math, we are going to learn about change unknown. It is going to be word problems, which which we were taking previously, but we're going to practice more. And this time, it isn't going to be subtracting. It's going to be adding. Let's take a look inside together. Change unknown. Mary has four stickers. Pat gives her more stickers. Now Mary has eight stickers. How many stickers did Pat give Mary? Now remember, there are people in the word problem. Who are the people? Mary and Pat. How many students? How many people? Mary and Pat. Mary had four stickers. Pat gave her some more stickers, but they didn't say how many. But now Mary have has eight stickers. So overall, the answer is eight, and she had four to start with. How many students are there in the problem? There are two students in the problem. And how many animals are there? There are one, two, three, four different kinds of animals. We have monkey, butterfly, bumblebee, and a crab. So, what do you do? You put four at the beginning. And then we're going to add because Pat gave her more stickers. More is adding. We are adding to the stickers that she has already. So put four at the beginning and eight at the end because it said now Mary has eight stickers. So the sum, the answer is eight. Now how do we know the missing number, the unknown number? How do we know it? We put four in our mind, and then we keep counting to get to eight. Let's try it together. Four, five, six, seven, eight. How many fingers you put up? You put up four fingers. So the missing number is four. Four and four is eight. Great job, everyone. Let's take a look at the other example. Billy draws four red cars. Then he draws some blue cars. They didn't say how many, they said some. So he draw more. Now there are ten cars. What do we do? Well, First, you know the answer is addition because it is how many. It's asking how many blue cars. Not how many more, not how many few, much fewer. How many is used in addition when it's asked in a question. What do we do? Can you think of it for a moment? Think of it. Read the question. Billy draws four red cards. Then he draws some more cards, and then he has all ten all together. What is the missing add end? Are you thinking? Okay, let's show it together. Four is at the beginning because it's the number that was first and the number that we know that is there because he drew four first okay so we put four at the beginning and ten at the end because we now know how much he had all together the missing number in the middle is six how did we get to six you put four in your mind and you keep counting till you get to 10. 4, 
Now count with your fingers. Count on. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You will see that there are ten at all together. And the missing number is six. Look at your fingers. You can see there are six fingers. Six is the missing and unknown add end. Great job, everyone. I'm really proud of you. If you have any questions about solving word problems and knowing the missing add end, you can email me anytime. Bye. Take care. Love you.